So I will show you just uh, the five uh, pictures that are mandatory to start the project. Yes, this is the first picture. It's a full face picture, front view, with uh, a smile with visible teeth. The second picture is the full face picture, front view, in rest position. This is important, the lips to be absolutely rested to define the new incisal edges. The third picture is a retracted lips in central occlusion. The fourth one is retracted lips uh, with open bite. And the last one is 12 o'clock picture. This way you can see the vestibulolingual position of the teeth and the width of the teeth. Now I will, uh, with the help of Professor Hardan, we will show you how you can do this through the mobile application of Rebel. As I told you, it is online service, so you have to be connected to internet. You just log in through your web browser. Yes, we are on www.rebel.dental. Yes. Rebel.dental, you just log in. And you will see the first page. You can see your dashboard because you are already logged in. And you start a new case. You see on your mobile phone, this is a help button, we don't need this. On the start, you have to click start. Perfect. Full face picture. The picture number one should be taken with your phone. When you click here, the mobile camera will be switched on automatically. So you don't have to do anything and just take a picture it should be full face picture with a smile perfect now we have it you just click ok if you like the picture click ok and you see it's uploading automatically into the software the speed depends on the internet connection it takes about a few seconds now you will see how the software processing the image it read the face and it will define what type of face is this. You see strong, dynamic, strong 0%, dynamic 26, delicate 0, calm for 74%. You can click continue and you see the chart with the facial reading. You just follow the red arrow, it's very simple. And you're at the second step, the interview questionnaire. Click questions. And the patient should fast answer four questions. What figure she like, uh, he like? How my friend consider me? You just scroll down, answer all these four simple questions. The software makes automatic checkup, you see, finished, click continue. And you see, for all the red arrow, no, no, uh, go back, back. Follow the red arrow, you see the result of the interview, the chart, and the cross lines between them gives you the 2D design immediately. So from now on you have the proposal, you can command with the patient, you can send this to the lab, or you can continue with the 3D. As I mentioned, you just go back, you see the charts, the cross line of the charts, and you just follow the blinking arrow and you're in the crazy case description. You have to tell how many teeth you want to be included into your design. You just click them, it's animated, it's very user friendly. We want these teeth to be included, for example. Then I scroll down, I write a simple text. If I have sp some special requests, so, if not, I just scroll down and this, you see, additional helpful pictures. Now, I have to make a full face in rest position, okay? You just click on the icon, open the camera immediately, and we will have the picture with rest. If you like it, just click OK. Perfect, it's uploading, you don't have to wait. Just go to the next one, full face, open bite.
click on the icon, take the picture, open byte, open exactly. Perfect. You don't have to wait to upload, just go to the next one. Now close, century conclusion. Perfect. And the last one, 12 o'clock. And smile. This is important. Yes, perfect. Yes, this is the final one. Of course, you have a place to do additional details if you want. If you don't want, it's not mandatory. And just click continue. It's confirmed that everything is fine. And here you have to drag and drop the SDL scan. If you don't have intro roll scanner, because most of us doesn't have in our practice, you see here, I don't have intro roll scanner. You just click and send a silicon impression to your laboratory and request they upload the scanned file for you. You just copy the link, you see the link is copied and it's automatically into your lab with which you have connection with your intraoral scanner or you send the impression to them. They will upload for you the STL file of the job. Now you have to invite the patient to the chair. And now is the time to put a single composite on the central incisor. It shouldn't be the best composite that you can do. It just should be a small piece to define the new incisal edge position and new vestibulolingual lingual position of the teeth. To have some reference points, open a little bit in rest. Can I see the screen also? As you see, in his case, in rest position, we slightly see the incisal edge position of his central incisor. So we can elongate just a half a millimeter. In protrusion, we can add a little bit more to compensate the position of the laterals and the canines. So I take a simple composite, you see. Just take a small quantity. You can work with your fingers, nothing special. Like this. And you place air dry slightly. And you put a piece of composite on the central inside. It's simple as that. I want to be slightly longer. You work with your fingers like this. You can make him rest position to see the new land. Okay. As I told you, it should not be the best composite you can do, you just have to define the new position of the teeth. Take, take the light curing. That is a question, please. Yes. Yes. Uh, one second. Well, Okay. Okay. So we define the new position of the tooth and we are ready to scan the jaw to make an STL file. This is the first option. The second option, if we don't have intraoral scanner, we can take an impression of the mouth with the mock-up on the central incisor, send it to our lab along with the link that I showed you before and they will upload the STL for us. Okay, uh, we'll take the question now. Please. Yes, please. Uh, why uh, are you using your finger? Why not uh, a spatula? 
I'm using my finger because uh, in this case we don't need precise work. We just have to put one small piece of composite to define the new position. This is like a reparent point. We are not making an alteration. In this way you can feel, you can shape, it's much faster and easier because the aesthetics doesn't matter in this case. Okay, thank you. Can I place a question, Dr. Elias, please? Yes. Uh, what do you, do you think if you do the wax up, the full wax up on the model as a trial, and then you mock it up in the patient's mouth, and then you go on with your uh, procedure, your conventional procedure, your workflow? Yes. If you do the wax up first, approximate the wax up, and then you mock it up in the patient's mouth, and then you you scan and then you go through your workflow in the in your system, in yes. your rebel system. Better is it? Would it give you more information or more orientation for your system to elaborate the final uh, design instead of just uh, working on one tool very approximately? Yes. And then work it from this step. I agree completely. This is the way. For example. Uh, that uh, Khalid Burel work because uh, he works very fast with the mock-up. He can do a mock-up to the whole mouth or just a provisional wax-up and transfer to the mock-up as you mentioned. And then when you send a such prepared and additionally file, it will be much more easier to make the small details and to make the perfect final result. Yes, of course, I agree completely. But um, the idea is to have the best result without any additional working so fast and accurate the best result this is why i'm showing you only the central incisor and in most of the cases you have to do just minority corrections on the mock-up into the mouth just to personalize individualize a little bit adjust and it is enough okay Thank you. let's start scanning Okay, you have to do the, sorry, we have to retract. With three shape camera, if you are lost, you have to go back to the centrals and then go, okay, now go fast to the end of the jaw. I have to go back and see. You have to look on the mirror to see always the green. Now open, go to the occlusal, open wide. You have to do it fast, otherwise the camera will make a lot of images and you will have a message that the file is too heavy and you have to stop. Sorry. If you're lost, you can switch again, wait the camera to find where she where it is and to complete if necessary. Okay, it's as you see on the screen, uh, it's not touch screen. <laughs> as you see, you have to have good vestibular surfaces when you where you have holes like the palatal surface here. If you want, you can go back and fill up all these spaces. Open. Wait a little bit the camera to find where she is. Okay. Sorry. 
So the composite you applied uh, is just to see how much high you want the, the, the new uh, uh, ceramic to be? Uh, yes, the composite gives us how much buccally we want the tea to be and how much long we want to be. Uh, the thickness too? Uh, the thickness, it will be distributed along the old teeth when the mock-up is done. It will be different thickness in different uh, teeth. It depends on the arch. For example, on one tooth it will be half a millimeter, to another almost zero. Okay, so uh, it's mostly how much high you want the, the teeth to be. Yes, right? yes. Okay, thank you. So, this is the scan. Now, if we have it, uh, if we like it, you just click uh, share to the lab. It saves the case and it shares to the external lab. Am I right? Yes, on to shape says yes. So we have it. It's transferred to our lab with the link of Rebel. And yes, and uh, now the Rebel is doing the process, of course, for the short time we did it, a little bit in advance, and now you can see the final result on your phone. As I mentioned before, imagine that it is approximately 70 uh, megabytes file, it's very big, but you can easily visualize, rotate, analyze on your phone, because, as I told you, the external servers support this feature. It's only visualization. And I want to show you something on the Louis phone, which is interesting to be seen. See how the tooth, which is in lingual position, is double layered. The front is the mock-up. The lingual part is his tooth. So in orthodontic cases, you can arrange the perfect arch. The patient's teeth could be behind. So you can see how much you have to change the position of the teeth if you work orthodontic. So now I will show you the printed STL model. Exactly copy of the design you will Can see you here. Can take a question, please? Yes. Uh, Dr. Iliev, please, I would like to ask you, once you send us through the STL file the uh, new aesthetic proposal, Yes. Uh, can we do any uh, corrections, uh, adjustments uh, to the uh, final uh, design that you proposed or uh, that's it? So at the moment, you have two free corrections. So you, if you don't like it or you want to change something, you just text, please change this, 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 and return back for revision. And in a few hours, you will have the revision uh, of the model. In the near future, there will be an online editor, so you can move, rotate, and do whatever adjustments you need online. But at the moment, you have to return back the case digitally, and we will send you back the new result. Okay, sir, thank you. Dr. Iliev. Yes. Louis, huh? uh, so, to summarize, you take the pictures, you decide to define the incisal edge regarding the pictures on uh, the right position and the others, and uh, the buckle uh, surface, you will define it on the 12 o'clock uh, picture. So, you, it's approximately what you want, and you do it on one center. Yes. Because they ask about wax up, so when you do the wax up, you don't need all this work. So only on one teeth and you take the digital impression and you upload it to the uh, application, Rebel application. Yes, exactly. So after two hours, you have another STL file that we show in 3D. You print this one and you have the printed model in your hand. Exactly. So this printed model is the new project of, uh, of the smile of the patient. Yes, the, this printed model is the new project of the smile.
which is in relation with the uh, face of the patient and the personality because you did an interview. Yes, exactly. Direct relation with the face reading and the interview. Okay, and you said that this is an ortho case, so uh, the orthodontist can see what is the best position for this patient as uh, regarding the face and the personality. Yes, exactly. And okay. he can arrange the teeth according to this future arch. Okay, so now you will continue to show us how will be the best mock-up for this patient by doing a mock-up with a uh, composite, with a bisacryl composite. Yes, exactly. Okay. Over this silicone, in the, uh, over this printed model, we did a silicone index. We cut it according to the gingival level of the teeth, as you see. We will try it in the patient's mouth. And you, you took the impression on the model with heavy and light. Yes, heavy and light, to be much more precise. And you do all this, uh, this uh, arcade just to remove the excess of uh, the material after. Yes, exactly. Okay. To have a beautiful zenith of the teeth. Okay, good luck. Okay, thank you. Let me check the mock-up and the silicone. The key should stay stable without any movements. That's why we make you, it on the keep, hole. You keep the old uh, mock-up or you remove? Or now only try I will to... remove it now. It ah. is in the mouth. Of course, I will remove it now. Okay. But uh, this, uh, mo this uh, uh, silicone model will be well fit because the software made the, the final mock-up regarding this one so it will fit with the composite in, in the mouth yes it will fit with the composite because <laughs> this is the thickness that we ordered that's why that's why you did the try in with the smoke up in the mouth and then you remove it yes i should remove okay. it and after that i will fill up all this with the uh, bis acrylic composite okay thank you it's it's good to mark where are your central incisors on the silicone just with pen or with your instrument doesn't matter to know exactly, open, how to position it, otherwise you can be lost and you will wonder where is the position. So you have to air dry a little bit. So our mock-up is from 1.5 to 2.5. You have to put a little bit this acrylic out of the mouth, put vestibularly. Feel of the index from five to five. So it is a photopolymerization composite, no? No, it is this acrylic composite, which is not photopolymerization. It okay. It is self-curing composite. Okay, great. You press from the palatal to the vestibular to be sure that the axis is out of his mouth. You see. So you keep. Uh, in perfect position the key we wait approximately a minute minute and a half and the bis acrylic we start getting elastic in this stage we will remove it with explorer see it's time to start it falls off very very easily so normally you will not have excess of uh, the material? No. When we remove the mock-up, we should not do any corrections with machines into the patient's mouth. And you will wait for two minutes, which is the uh, setting time of the piece acting, no? Minute and a half to remove the excess and four minutes mm. to the final... Well set. Yes. Okay. Otherwise, you can remove the mock-up with your silicone together. So this uh, mock-up, you will use it to prepare, if it's a, a veneer case, you will, you will uh, use it to prepare the case and uh, uh, prepare through the mock-up because it's an additive uh, case, no? Yes, this is completely an additive case, so we can prep through the mock-up. Okay. So in this case, we had to uh, add some composite on the incisal edge. What if we, uh, if the central we have to remove from the central. How you do the mock-up on the one central? So in such a cases, when you have to remove, the mock-up is perfor perforated by the tooth. 
which means the edge which should be removed, it goes through the mock-up. And you can mark it with black pencil to see which part should be removed. First remove this part and then continue with the standard procedure. And, and for, 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 for the mock-up, I'm talking about the first, uh, um, uh, when, you, when you add composite on the central, no, now you no no reason. I'm talking about when you add, but if you want to reduce from the if you want to reduce, you yes, just you, in description you write reduction 0 0.5 millimeters and you don't put composite additive. Uh -huh. Yes, but you can add some composite on, uh, on the edge below the margin and you scan just to give the application the information where to put uh, where to have the new incisal edge. Yes, this is another option. Okay. Yes. So before removing this you have to slightly open the silicone. You see what I'm doing? Otherwise, everything will fall out. And now the big moment. I hope everything will fit. Oh, I'm happy. I hope you're happy too. And I have a happy patient, so everything is fine. I will remove the palatal axis, you see? very gently, otherwise you can break all the aesthetics. And smile to the audience. <laughs> so this is a mock-up of the future project in relation with the face the typology of the patient and the interview, his personality. Completely. The most important in this concept is that this is objective decision. There is no person behind this who decides what to do, how long to beat this teeth and things like this, what shapes to choose. All this is made by mathematical analysis, statistical analysis of the patient's face, of his personality, and we think that in 90% of the cases it fits perfectly and the patients fall in love with their new smiles. The question is, in case you need to correct or modify this mock-up yes. in the patient's mouth because you didn't like it or the patient is asking for a modification, yes. how do you proceed from that point on? From that point on, this is bisacrylic composite. The benefit of this is that we can do corrections with standard composite materials because they have a chemical reaction with bisacrylic. So this way, you just put small composite do the changes, see what the patient likes, and if you want a ready STL file, what you have done into the patient's mouth, just send as a revision to Rebel. Please do this, 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 and we will get you back the corrected file as you want. That is in the case you have the scanner, the scanner, the intraoral scanner. Yes. If you don't have the intraoral scanner, how you will proceed? For example, uh, if you don't have intraoral scanner, uh, when you see on your phone, Luis, can I, can I see on your phone just a second? When you see on your phone the design, you don't have to scan back. No, you just click revision and it automatically sends you back the file. So you don't have to do additional things. If you make changes into the mouth, when you send back the file to revision, just write. I change the length of the teeth with one millimeter. I would like to do this on my model. This is how it works now. In very, very near future, the dentists will be able to do this by, by uh, themselves because there are a lot of 3D editors in the market that you can use, but we want to make it simple and usable on your phone, just when you see to, make, to be able to rotate. Let me put this assumption. Uh, can you uh, take another picture of the mock-up, the corrected mock-up, and send it to your, uh, to your website? Uh, you mean to add an additional picture? Yes, correct the, correct the, uh, the mock-up in the patient's mouth, yes. and make another picture and send it back to your website. Would yes, you in the revision sector you can attach additional pictures. Yes, yes you can send back. Dr. Liev, we will, we, will go on this, we will go on the stage just to uh, answer all the questions, but okay. now we have to summarize.
Which to, one? to summarize the case, yes. Uh, so to summarize the case, as we see now, uh, can you see the uh, picture of uh, of the case? So uh, Dr. Iliev took five pictures, or I took it, and then correction of uh, one central by adding uh, on the buccal surface to see uh, that uh, now we can see the vestibular part of the tooth. Because if you go back and you look at the 12th position, the last one, you cannot see the central. So that's why uh, he decided to add on the buckle. And if you go back on the second one, you don't see the incisor. So that's why he decided to add a little bit. Then you do the interview. The patient will, uh, will check and do this interview. And uh, it's very fast. You see how he answered all uh, uh, the questions. And then we do the scanning. After the scanning, we will, uh, we will have an STL file. So when we have this STL file, when we have this STL file, we will upload it to, uh, to the Rebel uh, application. In two hours, we, re we receive another uh, uh, STL file where uh, you, can, you can see how you can drag and move. So uh, after two hours, we will have another STL file that you saw on my uh, uh, phone. And we print this STL file. We print this STL file. And after printing the STL file, uh, we, this is the printed model. We take an impression on this printed model. And we put this acryl. And you can see the result in the mouse of uh, the patient. We can do uh, again all the steps, and you see uh, uh, the new mock-up uh, for for the patient and the, the new design. Now, Dr. Iyev will be on the stage to answer all your questions.